Joining us now from Uyo is a good friend of ours, a football journalist, Emmanuel Chibuzo. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in tonight, Emmanuel. Uh, you've been following the Super Eagles uh, program uh, as, as they've been arriving. Uh, first and foremost, can you confirm for us whether Victor Simeon has arrived or not? Hello, Emmanuel. Can you hear me? Uh, good evening, guys. Uh, good evening, people. Uh, as I always left, I can hear you. Good evening. Yeah. Can you confirm good whether... Evening. I can hear you. Yeah. Can you confirm whether Victor Osime has arrived or not? No, did you guys left your training pitch by 7.30 p.m. this evening, and there was no Victor Osime. Okay. They're expecting him late this night or early hours tomorrow morning. Yeah, I, I can, I'm not surprised. He's probably uh, finalizing a few things, dotting the I's and crossing a few T's with his contract at Galatasaray. But so far, so good, Emmanuel. From what you've seen of the team, do they look hungry? Do they look ready to right the recent wrongs of the past? Uh, their poor performances in the, Af uh, in the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. Do they look fired up and ready for the task ahead? Yes, they do. Shemilo uh, Guajayi was talking about the fact that they knew that the last two games for the Packers have not been very good. The reason why they've had a chat with themselves. Uh, Guavon had a meeting with the guys yesterday and told them, just two months ago, you were almost crowned champions. What happened between then and now that you win matches? Those, that was the, the words of Guavon to the players. Just barely two months ago, a few months back, you were almost crowned African champions. What has gone wrong with the team? Was what Guavon told the guys yesterday and they, when they had a meeting. Uh, right now, Shemil Ajayi was saying, they want to give their all. They know that Nigerians are not happy with them. In fact, the media party today, the, the journalists did not even come out with their numbers. So the guys are fired up. Chris Ekon was also saying the fact that they want to get things right and get their campaign back on track. The guys are fired up. This morning, Ian Atto walked into the pitch, into the, 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 the hotel. He has not been with the team all, all, all week long. And they were saying he came because he knows that Nigerians are not happy with them and their work is to put joy in the faces of Nigeria. So okay. they know okay. that things yeah. have not been going the way of Nigerians and mm. uh, they're not happy. And right now, they want to get that right everything for them. Okay. Uh, Emmanuel, I think uh, my good my colleague here, uh, Okwa Adebari, has a question for you very quickly. Yeah, Emmanuel, um, how have the coaches been coordinating the team? You know, we've got two coaches from the NPFL now working under Ego Avon. We've got Daniel Ogumadede. We've got Fidelis Ilechiku. How have they, you know, shared the duties? And what has each coach been focusing on as they've been training? Uh, yesterday, when we went to their first training, it was all about Ogumo Didi and uh, Ilechuku who handled the guys. Egwabon was acting more like a senior student in the secondary school, <laughs> watching from behind, allowing the guys to have their field. So Ogumo Didi and Ilechuku were the ones who were dictating the pace of the guys, working on their paces and the tactics. It was more of today. Egwabon really got involved to now work on the, the wife or Lati Neji, but he was with the goalkeepers. Mario Kawakui was not with them yesterday. He joined them today. But I think um, the two home-based coaches or the local coaches were doing their due diligence, trying to work on the basis of the players and in terms of communication on the field of play, which they did all through yesterday. And today, when they played the possibles up against the probables, Amas Obasuge, former insurance of Benin goalkeeper, was the third defender on the field because they were one player short. So, but Egwabon was fully in charge of the training today. Yesterday, Ilechuku and Okumode they were the ones who led the training. Why I go just watch back and allow the guys to have their field uh, on the field of play yesterday. Okay. Well, I think uh, we can uh, very uh, quickly. Uh, Chibuzo, uh, thank you very much for joining us. My, my question is this. From the um, balls around the city of Uyo, how are the fans looking forward to the game, especially with the challenge we have in Nigeria as regards uh, uh, petrol? Truthfully, the fans are not looking forward to the game. They are not happy. <laughs> they are not excited. <laughs> there are, some of them are saying... Uh, they, they don't look forward to Nigeria's matches anymore. That, that's the word coming up from the street, that they're not looking forward to Nigeria's matches anymore. Even attendants of people who come to the stadium to watch the training, you can tell from the body language. Some of the top sport presenters in New York are quite from states, but not even anywhere. They've not been anywhere near the camp of the Super Eagles. Mm -hmm. I reached out to some of them. They said they're not looking forward to the matches anymore. Wow. Just because of their job, they just have to just do, get inset and all of that. But truthfully, people have not been looking forward to it. Like you mentioned, the first situation may also have played the part. Okay. But those who are in the thick of the action, the journalists have not been involved. Okay. 
uh, Emmanuel Chibuzo, a good friend of ours, an excellent sports journalist. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight. All the way from Uyo uh, here on Game On. It's an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. And thank you so much for all the wonderful pictures that you, and uh, content that you've been providing for us exclusively. Uh, I'm very, very grateful. We'll be reaching out to you tomorrow. And also, that's, I think, that the first Super Eagles uh, press conference uh, we'll be holding tomorrow. We'll definitely be reaching out to you uh, after that game. Uh, gentlemen, uh, he said it very clearly. Nobody's looking forward to watching the Super Eagles. I mean, we, 